I think we're good. So, uh, yeah. Hello again. Uh, welcome to another exciting episode of Streamy Streams with TJ. And even though I have this kind of unwieldy mic on my head and very close to my mouth, I still get awkwardly close to the camera and use smoldering eyes because I'm not really bright enough to come up with a new shtick. So, uh, in case anyone hasn't been able to figure out by, I don't know, looking at the title of the stream or noticing the picture behind me, uh, today we are going to be playing, uh, I don't know why I say we, I'm going to be playing it, y'all are just going to be watching and making fun of me when I do poorly. Um, but uh, I'm going to be playing probably a game that I have played hundreds of times. I think I've beaten it at least 20 or 30 times because it's probably one of the best games ever made ever. And that is the, uh, a legend, uh, the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Um, I have owned this specific game in multiple versions like I had the old super I think I still do uh, at my parents house we actually still have the cartridge of it um, and then uh, I had it on the Game Boy Advance uh, when it came out um, I think I might have bought it on the Wii virtual console uh, but I can't remember so yeah simply amazing awesome game um, I hope you guys uh, are going to enjoy this as much as I do because it, it literally is. If you've never played the game, you need to. Uh, you need to badly because it's fantastic. It's one of the best games ever. And it's actually possible to still play it now. So, yeah, you should definitely do that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and someone just tweeted me, and I'm actually going to find out what was it they said. Uh... Sorry, I realize this is probably kind of boring for you guys, but I'm trying to figure out who it was that favorited this because I don't, I don't know who that was. I don't know, but apparently she thought it was. I don't know. Thank you, whoever favorited it. Um, I hope you get to watch, cause, cause it's it's cool. Uh, so yeah, if anyone wants to hear the the sound effect that I use for this on my phone uh, comes from this game. So if anyone wants to hear that sound effect over and over and over again, just keep tweeting me, uh, retweet and stuff like that. So without any further ado, let's let's actually play the darn game. So we're gonna go here and there. All right. I have probably listened to this specific sound effect a billion times, and I, I still have not gotten sick of it. It's just, everything about this is amazing. The music's amazing. The graphics, for its time, were pretty awesome. Uh, this is a brand new one, so we're going to start with this, and we're going to go, just because I don't think I can fit my whole name in there, I'm just going to put TJ, so we do that. And then we start the game. Help me. Please help me. I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard, Arka, the hard to pronounce name, has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Really hard to pronounce first name has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. Dot, 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 dot. Dude, that's a double ellipse. That's, that's impressive. I'm in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Single ellipse. Hey, TJ, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back by morning. Don't leave the house. So, kind of weird. Middle of the night, you get a psychic message. Then you watch your mustached uh, uncle go out. And... Yeah, in case you were wondering, uh, in this world, it is perfectly normal. I have a lamp. Uh, it is perfectly normal to break pottery all the time. 
and lift up bushes and throw them around. Because that's just what people do, and apparently they leave random precious gems that are used as currency underneath them. Because that's, you know, that's what you do. And now I'm just walking around, and it's raining as you can see. Awesome, awesome graphics back on the Super Nintendo, which is cool. It actually, it actually looks pretty nice, even though, you know, dated, obviously, but I think this could stand up to some of the, uh, things I got, like, I don't know, Spelunky and all that, like, these look just as nice, or close to it. Oh, TJ, I didn't want you to involve. I, God, I cannot talk at all. I told you not to leave the house. Well, obviously, that's not gonna happen. Take my sword and shield, and listen. You can focus power into the blade. Hold the B button. Then release it. Using the secret technique hounded down by our people. Holding a button. I can't understand why it's still secret. Because it's not that hard to figure out. But but it's still secret. Kind of. Except now I've just told you. TJ, you could do it. Save the princess. Zelda is your... Dot, dot, dot. Triple ellipse. Wow. And now I have a sword. And I can do this. Twirly, twirly! Alright. Let's kill some guards. These are bad guys. And I always thought... I don't know why. But I always thought that the helmets... Like, if you look at the helmets... Before I kill them. They're just kind of like your... Almost like the Mandalorian helmets. Where they have kind of a T-shaped opening in them. Uh, not really, but, you know... They're, they're military helmets. Um... So I never made the uh, the connection that uh, that's what uh, they were doing. I always thought it was dudes with really big noses and their tongues stuck out. I really don't need to do that. So I can cut those. Because if you look at it from a certain angle, doesn't it kind of look like a dude going around going... Alright. You need to die. Ow. No, not stab me. Health. There. It didn't help. And here's the palace. More amazing music! Hello, music. Ah! Died. Oh, there's health. And now we go over here. Ow. You know, I'm normally better at this. Normally I don't get hit, like, at all, until I get much further. And look, pottery equals stuff underneath it. Here they keep live human hearts, which I consume. Because that's what you do to make yourself feel better, is, is, is eating live human hearts. There we go. And he's gone. He gave me a key. And a map. Because obviously you can't explore a dungeon without a map. Now, this is fun, because watch this. I saw, oh, I'm just looking over the side, and oh no, he's thrown me over the side. Oh, calm down, computer. Alright, oh, I gotta move here if I don't do this quickly. See, he falls over the edge. He didn't, he just died. Because I'm not that nice. Bye! Sorry, I had to look on, on the screen. Because not on... I realize a lot of what I say doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But it does in my mind. And that's all that matters. So here I am outwitting the really simple to outwit guards. Apparently not simple enough, because I still attracted them. Here we go, and they go bye bye Another blue one. If anyone wonders why I do that, I hit harder when I do that. And the boomerang! This is a classic Zelda item. And I go... Kind of cool, right? I've seen people do speed runs of this. Uh, I'm not a fan of speedruns. Like, I, th I think they take a lot of the enjoyment out of the game because they just... They exploit every single thing they can to get through as fast as they physically can. 
And I enjoy, you know, playing the game. Alright, here we go. Bye. Now here comes the first one that's kind of tough. That is the big bad guy. See, he's got like a ball and chain. And red hair. If you're wondering, yeah, that's that's the chick we're trying to save. But we need a special key for that door. There we go. It looks like that. You got the big key. This is the master key of the dungeon. It can open many locks that small keys cannot. You will actually see that every single time you uh, you uh, pick up that key in every dungeon ever. So before I talk to her, getting paid. That's right. Thank you, TJ. I had a feeling we were getting close. TJ, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I feel the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Triple ellipse. Do you understand? If you say not at all, she says the exact same thing again and again and again. All right, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first we have to get to the first floor. Let's go. So now, I've got me a companion that doesn't do anything, by the way. Like, this isn't like doctor-type companion, where it was like, oh, every so often they'll save the day. No, this is a lost puffy that can't defend itself type companion. Let me go this way. And I ignore these dudes, because I don't want to fight them. Go up here. I've got lots of people watching right now, all one of you, which is kind of cool. And I wait for him to go further down, and then we jump, and then he goes bye bye. Oh dear, they've thrown me over the side again. And this time I'm gonna go this way, just because I like to, I like to spice it up a little bit, you know. Maybe go a different way. Who knows? You don't own me. I realize that you're not in control of yourself. Like, she just told me that a wizard is controlling them. But they're dangerous. They've got to go. Now we get in here. There's a secret passage in the throne that leads to the sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. I hope so, because we're kind of... We're kind of putting all of our eggs in one basket here. Don't even talk to them. Just go past. They're not bright enough to realize that stairs are real. That ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push from the left. This is another thing. Like, uh, If you don't like to read, I've seen people stuck here for like 10 minutes. They're like, what am I supposed to do? Do I cut it? Do I? What am I... No, you just push from the left, like she said. Oh, I have to remember where I am. I'm going to... See, this is where the lamp comes in handy, because I go boom, and then I can see. And seeing is half the battle. Alright, let's go over here. Hit you in the face. See even more, because those, they, they run out. Then you have to go relight them. All right, snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Ow, one hit me. Damn, I'm. They, I never get hit by these things. What the hell? If I die, I'm going to feel pathetic. Somebody give me health. One of you has something. No, none of you have something. That. So now I just feel dumb. All right. Wow! I have never died that early, ever. That was pathetic. Yeah, I know. Wow. Folks, I'm normally a lot better at this, I promise. That was just an epic fail. Wow. Just massive, massive fail. I'm not sure if I can call myself a gamer anymore. I 
Let's kill these things, and this time I'm not gonna let them kill me. Come on. See, if one of them had given me a heart last time, I would've been fine. But no, they didn't want to give me a heart, because they're, they're heartless. They're heartless snakes. And that, you know, dude, if that's your thing, that's your thing, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge. I'm just saying, you know, had they not been heartless, probably would have done better. And I gotta... That's been another thing I've never quite understood. Let's hide a key in a chest. An ornamental chest that, that looks like something that you want to open. Like... Who, where was the thought process in this? After passing through these sewers, we'll be very close to the sanctuary. Let's be careful. Obviously, because I haven't been careful this entire time. As long as I stay in the waters, the rats doesn't don't get me. Wow, can't talk at all. All right. Cool. Then we go up here. Ow, dumb rat. Let's do that so I can actually see these dudes. There we go. That was the one that actually had something. And I just got money, too. That was, like, that was nice. Ow. I'm starting to realize that it's been a very long time since I've played this, and I'm kind of sucking. I'm going to switch over to my boomerang. Boomerang, zoomerang. That's right, I just quoted Mr. Rogers. What? Oops, I missed one of my thingies. But see, I can take out bats from afar. And get hit in the face by a rat. Really? You know, if I was smart, I would stop killing these things and just go. But I'm not. Ow, stop it! Stop it, evil rat men! Oh, is there... Is there health under here? No. The only place in this entire universe where they don't have crap just hiding under barrels. Seems you should be on the door. Pull that switch over there. Which one, though? There's two. Pull the lever, open the door. Blah, 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 blah. You pull the wrong one. I think a bunch of snakes drop. Princess Zelda, are you safe? Is this your doing, TJ? Yes, it was TJ who helped me escape from the dungeon when I was captive. The wizard once said something. Once I finished all the final of the wise man, he opened a bunch of ellipses. He releases the seal, evil stuff, blah blah, you can. Since a mighty evil force guiding the actions, the only weapon is Master Sword. Another kind of common theme is the Master Sword. There we go. Yep, I saved her. You all were kind enough and... Oh look, a heart, so I'm harder to kill. Thank God. And now, the greatest music of all time. Really? <sighs> I'm gonna have to go in here real quick. Hold, please. Let's bring you up to 10%, because then at least we get all the music. See, sounds a hell of a lot nicer, right? So sad. Uh, where am I going now? I want to continue game. Which button is it? It's that button. I need to go there. That's my map. That's the map of the world, guys. Isn't that cool? I need to get some money before I go up there, though. There's some important stuff there that'll keep me from dying. There we go. More monies. I think 
there's some money in the town, if I remember correctly. Tell me, uh, let me know, guys, if uh, sound levels get bad. I can, I can adjust my mic volume and stuff like that. Another amazing, amazing song. Okay, where am I going now? I think I can go down here, because this will have money in it. And that's a dude that talks about blind. And a block pushing puzzle. Lots of money here. That's right, I got them all. Gotta catch them all. Gotta open all the chests. Chest them on. Which sounds awkward when you think about it. Alright, we're gonna talk to this dude. You, sir, have you been going through, through life without one of my hold anything bottles? Well, step right up and make your life complete. I've got one on sale for the low, low price of 100 rupees. What do you say? Interested? I'll take one, crazy salesman man from the 1920s. Goodbye. Thanks a lot. Now hold it above your head for the whole world to see, okay? See? It's good for business. Bottles are a big deal in Zelda in general. Like, they're super useful. I'm going to talk to this kid, because he gives me something cool. I can't go outside because I'm sick. Cough, cough. People say I caught this cold from the evil air that's coming down off the mountain. Sniff, sniff. This is my bug catching net. I use it when I'm better, but for now I'll lend it to you. And that's right, I've got a bug catching net. Oh yeah. And that's, uh, in case you guys are wondering, that's Mario. With an H on his forehead for some odd reason. Alright, we go here. And look! <gasps> bottle! Bottle! Bottle, bottle! Alright, hello, runny kid. And I'm not gonna worry about you. And I think this is the kid that tells me where. Hi, Elder, are you talking about Grandpa? Okay, but don't tell any of the bad people about this. He's hiding in a palace by a castle. I'll mark the spot on your map. Here you go. So now, it shows me. So you can do, like, the panning thing. And that's where he is. So we're going to go over there. Talk to his uncle. Grandpa, whatever it is. I don't want to go that way. I want to go up here. She calls the guards, by the way, because she's a total bitch. And we go over here. Doink, 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 doink. Oh, there we go. My controller, for some odd reason, stopped responding. Bye bye. Over here with awesome music. Taking out the guards. Now in this Zelda, all the guards are color coded. Green ones are super easy. Blue ones are kinda easy. I don't remember what comes after blue. I think it's red. Red ones are not so easy, and that's a crab. And these ones got arrows. Which I can block by with my shield. If I'm facing them. Still kind of sucking at this. And I've got arrows. I don't have a bow to use them with. Yet! This song has been heard in almost every Zelda game. I know it wasn't in, um... Ocarina of Time, but they brought it back for Majora's Mask. And, uh, yeah. I think they had a version of it in, in every other 
Zelda. Except maybe, I'm not sure about the Wind Waker if it had it. Or not Wind Waker, um... The Game Boy one. Whatever the one, uh, where you had to wake the wind fish. That was the Game Boy one. But I can't remember what it was called. Be gone. Now I need to go talk to Sahasrala. If you guys think that was just foot No, that's his name. Hello, dude in a horny hat. I am indeed Sahasrala, the village elder and descendant of the Seven Wise Men, played by James Earl Jones. Oh, really, TJ? I'm surprised a young man like you is searching for the Sword of Evil's Pain. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legend says, only the hero who has won the three pennants can wield the sword. Triple ellipse. It's an ellipse of ellipse. Is ellipse I? How do you do that plurally? I don't know. Do you really want to find it? And the two options you have are yeah and of course. I'm going to go with of course. Good. As a test, can you retrieve the pendant of courage from the East Palace? If you bring it here, I will tell you more of the legend and give you a magical artifact. Now go forward to the palace. This is kind of cool, right? Does this have bombs? Because I could use bombs. No, no bombs. Sad face. Hello, and these are statues that come alive and try to kill you. Because that's cool. I don't want to go that way. I don't want to fight the statue, neither. I guess I don't have much of a choice. Oh, one's down. There we go. Now to avoid a statue, I go down here. Ha ha! And let's stay towards the bottom and... Oh, can't touch this. I'm like hammer time. Ooh, health. Health is good. And then more of them. And then really, really weird statues outside this palace, if you notice. They have these little bird head things, and then they've got these creepy... I don't even know what those are. But I get to go in, so that's kind of cool. Okay, what do I do again? I can't remember. I think it's just this. Yeah, there wasn't anything to do. And here are... I don't know. Confetti monsters? Those are giant boulders that try to kill you. If I remember correctly, there's some stuff back here. Oh, I forgot to catch fairies. Eh. Not that big a deal. Maybe I'll find some when I'm in here. Money! Money, 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 money! Money! Gotta love the monies. Monies is good. Now we go here. And I gotta remember which direction I want to go first. I think it's this one. I could be wrong. And these skeletons are evil bastards. But I can kill them with my boomerang. But watch, if I try and slash them, they jump away, because they're jerks. If you find the pink ones, not only do they jump away, uh, but they chuck bones at you. Which is just, it's a dick move. It really is. I think I want to go up here. Okay. Look, I solved the puzzle. And I got... What did I get? <gasps> a map! Everybody needs a map, okay? Maps are like the coolest things ever, other than everything else ever invented. I don't know. I used to really like maps. If I remember correctly... Ha! Heart! I needed that. That opens up all the doors here. guys that built these palaces must have been, like, super paranoid about people coming to kill them or something, because they have all these doors that in, that you have to push. Like, could you imagine just getting home from work? It's like, man, I'm so exhausted. I'm just gonna relax. Oh, shoot, I have to solve this puzzle, or I have to move this block in order to get to, you know, my room. Which is weird, dude. And I can kill most of these guys by just chucking pottery at them. Pottery, not only a place to hide valuables, but also 
a deadly projectile weapon. The more you know, ding. And here's another chest. A compass! Apparently without a compass you can't figure out where the bad guy is. That if I want to talk to Sahasrala, Sahasrala, I can do that, but I don't right now. I do want to open that, but I don't think I have the big key yet. So that's the... Each dungeon has a very cool... Ooh, bombs. Bombs are... Excuse me. Here we go. Uh, has a very cool uh, special item in it that lets you get further. And they're all found in those big chests. Run away! Need to go in here. And look through here. Ooh, more. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now, as soon as I get out here, these dudes haven't moved, so I gotta run like super hardcore so that they don't hit me. Booyah. And now I'm back in this room. There's another thing that's really cool that these, uh, the dungeons in, uh, Link to the Past, um, are all multi-level and, like, loop back around themselves a lot, and so they're very cool. Die, skeletons! There, see? Useful. Alright. We're gonna kill you. And that opens up those dudes. They're annoying. And they hit me. That wasn't very nice. Look, another chest! Big key! Booyah! Time for some big keying. Key, key, key of bigness. Just massive key. There we go. Again, I can talk to Sahasrala, but yeah. My James Old Joan impression needs some work, so. I'm gonna kill you off. Come on, open and die. And we open this up, and what is in here? It's a bow! I can shoot arrows until I run out. Which is useful. But now, to show you guys a secret area, watch this. No, stop. That's what I want. Fairy fountain. Why am I doing this? Why am I attacking fairies with a, a net? No, I only got one. Doesn't matter. One's enough for right now. And it got rid of all those stupid heads, too. So if I put a fairy in a bottle, it means if I die, the fairy comes out and resurrects me. Which is very smart. So I have both, I have both my bottles filled with fairies right now. Here we go. Alright. Boom. They're gone. They're gone. I'm gonna light a light so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. These guys you can't kill with your sword. But you can kill with a well-placed shot to the eye. As everybody knows, if you have one eye, it's your weak point. It's just, it's how the world works. And this is what's called MONEY! MONEY! Me like it the money. I'm gonna light that again. Just because I like having light. Open says me. Oh, look. Another very difficult to solve puzzle. Maybe in just a few seconds here if I die. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I don't quite understand why it only wakes up the bottom two, seeing as they're all equidistant apart. Whatever, I'm not gonna. Come on. Now you're gone. And there we go. And now... 
Ah, flying bullets! Ow, stupid. See, red is more powerful. Oh yeah, that was kind of cool, right? Ooh, ten of them. That's kind of cool. Come on, wake up. Okay, and I know there's more. I don't need hearts. I need that. Okay, first boss. Massive dudes with spikes. You can kill these guys with your sword too, but nowhere near as cool, right? It helps if you actually hit them. Booyah! He's gone. And there's my first pendant. You want the pendant of courage? Take it to us for us. Blah, 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 blah. Whee! Let's go talk to 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 mouthful of words. Take the shortcut that doesn't involve me getting attacked by a bunch of statues. All right, James L. Jones. Oh, you have the pendant of courage. Now I will tell you more of the legend. Three or four generations ago, an order of knights protected the royalty of Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the pendant of courage. Unfortunately, most were destroyed in the Great War against evil that took place with the seven wise men created their seal. Among the descendants of the Knights of Hyrule, a hero must appear. Ellipse, I see. TJ, I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure. Passed down by the families of the wise men. I want you to have it. I got shoes! Now you can execute a dash attack. We A helpful item is hidden in the cave on the east side of Lake Hylea. Get it. Cool. What I am going to do, actually, is blow this wall up. Hello, bombs. And by the way, if you are not careful and you just kind of chill next to the next to that, uh, you blow up. Which is not fun. Bombs! Yay. Monies! Yay. Monies again! So now we're gonna go down here. Go up here. Go down here. Ooh, where? Ah! I'm getting attacked by octa. Oh, what are they called? Octorods or something like that. They're bad and they spit stuff at you. Octorox. There we go. Octorox. Hello, fairy. I just. I need to feel pretty. Give me the sparkles. Gone. Ah, stop it. Stop it. Ah! Ow. That was a dick move. I'm gonna go over here. Ha! Ah, you hit a post. And then I got attacked by a crab. Wow, I'm like low on health. I'm going the wrong direction for this, too. I had full health, like, not too long ago at all. Let's stop by my house and pick up some health. 
Yeah, calm down, Pokey. Yeah, this is my house. It's not much. I had an apartment like this. There, now I feel better. Alright, let's first... I forgot I can run now. See? Whee! I fly like the wind! Whee! See, kind of useful, right? I just dash through people. I'm back to the town, but why am I here? To do this. That would be the wrong building. That's gambling. Gambling's bad. Kids, don't don't gamble. It's bad for you. There we go. This is the library. See, library is always good for you. And this is the Book of Medora. You found the Book of Medora. You can use it to read the ancient language of Hylia. Phil, tell him what he's won. You've won the Book of Medora. Translating languages will now be a breeze. Oh, look, I made a bomb appear. That was kind of not fun. Run into a tree. Apparently that was a bomb tree. Bombs apparently do grow on trees, folks. Now we just need to find the money tree and I'll be set. Whee! I'm gonna go down here. Yeah, go away, little birdie. Whee! Oh, yeah. So those guys electrocute you every time you hit them. And that's a bug. Oh, cool. I killed it with a bush? It's impervious to a sword, but I threw a bush at it. Oh, no. Now there's tons of these little things running around. Cool. Oh, good. I need bombs. I just realized I didn't have bombs. Or I, I... In order to do this, you need bombs. And there's no real easy way. They're like random drops from, from monsters. There's no real easy way to get them. Other than apparently stepping on one. Because that makes sense. So we're going to go here. Bomb. Ha 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 Gonna go in here. And look, it's a fancy ice cave with the ice rod! So now I can do cool stuff and freeze things. Which is cool. I like, I like cold. I'm basically Bobby from the X-Men. Oops, let's not get hit by that. Oh, cool. I don't even have to go get health anymore now. That's cool. Let's go. Let's go. There's the blimp that I blow up. I always called that guy the blimp, and I, I didn't really have a reason why, except that I like calling him a blimp. Ow, jerk. Wow, that crab takes a lot of health off. Damn. I was like, holy crap. Two hearts. Most monsters do, like... Half a heart? So two hearts is a lot. I'm gonna go in here real quick because there's other cool stuff that I can do. Wow, it's almost four. We got star a little late today. Oh look, more bombs. Bombs are good. But now I blocked my way in. Look, I just exit and it fixes itself. Now we go in here. Another one of the dreaded which lever do I pull traps? By the way, it's that one. Doo -doo -doo. All right, look, there's fishies, fishies, and a piece of a heart. And then I go this way. See how far I can make it. I think there's another fairy fountain here, which I can use. Here we go. Hi, Fairy Fountain. Make me sparkly! Because sparkles is good. I like the sparkles. They make me feel pretty. 
So yeah, sparkles! And then we go this way. And now there's crazy dust devil thingies that attack me. Because that's what happens in deserts. And then, look, gibberish. But if I use my magic book of Medora to open the way forward, make your wish here, and it will be granted. Aw, he takes off his little hat and he's like, please, I, I want a pony for Christmas and, uh, and, uh, and a way forward so I can save the princess. Yeah, yes. I don't know why uh, he just became the ladies' man, but... Yes, I am uh, the ladies' man, and, uh... So now we go in here. Ooh. And this has... I have no idea what these things are called, but they're annoying. Oh, and that's the laser BB eye thing that kills you. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go in here. Oh, look. You need to die. This looks like a good spot to, to hopefully not die. I mean, it'd be nice if I didn't die here. Alright, let's open you up. Nope, you're dead. Oh, look. That's what I'm supposed to do. Wakey, wakey, die. Ooh, a map! Gots to have the map! Now, where else am I supposed to go? It has been a long time since I've played this game. Pretty sure that was the wrong place. Yeah. Ooh, health. Health is good. So that was the wrong way. Let's go this way, because that sounds like a right way, right? Whee! And let's go up here. Yep, and there's another one of those. I shoot you in the face with my laser beams. And anytime you see these little uh, tiles with a triangle on it, you can talk to Sahasrasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasasas
here. And now I can lift rocks. You know how I couldn't lift rocks before? Now I can. And this looks very surprised to see me, doesn't it? And I don't want to die from the laser beams. Long tropical laser beams. Laser beams of love. Now I get random parts of the floor that attack me. See, not only do monsters and bosses and bad guys attack you, but the floor does. Like, apparently, the bad guy that has a hard-to-pronounce name uh, has enchanted even, like, the floor. Something you'd normally go, oh, floor, the only thing you can do is if I walk over you, you can open into a deep, dark pit. Nope. This floor actually actively seeks you out to hit you in the face. Is there any health in here? Because that would be nice. Ha! There we go. Going upstairs. The level design in this is just fantastic. Yeah, it can't touch me, laser thingy. There we go. Just keep walking around, because I don't want to get hit by his laser beam. Ah! Don't kill me. And another floor that wants to attack me. You know, it's not like this is really difficult, guys. I mean, you could come up with a better trap. Like, I'm pretty sure the old, you know, pit trap thing would work really well here. Like, remarkably well. And I'm still getting hit in the face. Boom. 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 Boom! Okay. Still nothing useful in here. Except for a key. And now... Hmm, what am I supposed to do here? Can I hit this dude with, with a bottle? No, I have to shoot him in the face. Really? Wake up. Wake up! I'm like an annoying kid. There we go. Whatever am I supposed to do? <gasps> looky, looky! Now it's time for the boss. All right, let's go ice rod, because apparently these guys don't like ice. All right, time for you all to die. Yeah, see, that works really well. Two shots and they're gone. Helps if you actually hit them. I'm going to be out of mana pretty soon here. That was kind of a dick move. Yeah, I'm out now. Now I can just hit them with my sword. Alright, come on. You guys can die. Alright. One more down. We just got one more to go. Come on. Come on. Really, dude? How are you supposed to eat me if you're only up for like five seconds? This is this is not, you know, a smart business plan. It really, it just, it isn't. See, walking away from me, there's no food in that. Really think you need to, you know, Redefine your target market if you're just gonna do stuff like that, okay? Because it's just it doesn't make sense Totally missed come on Really I wish I had more magic Or I could aim better with this damn thing 
Because they probably had enough to kill most of these guys. Haha! -ha! He's dead! Yeah! Whee! I have this thing where I try and get under them before they hit the floor. It does nothing, but it's just, it's cool. Alright, hold on. One, the pendant of power. The goal of finding three pendants is in sight. Go for the last one. I realize there are already sound effects for this, but yeah. So now I'm cooler. And I'm going to go up here so I don't waste it. Alright, so I think that is where I'm going to end it for today. Uh, so we can go back here, because it's uh, a little bit after 4, and I got started a little after 4. So, yeah, uh, that is going to be all for me today. I uh, hope you guys had fun. I will probably play this at least a few more times, because it's amazing. It's wonderful. Uh, so, yeah, and you got to admit, like, the artwork, unbelievably fantastic. Uh, so, yeah. Um... So, uh, let's see. Next week on Monday, d and comes out, uh, which is really cool. And this Sunday, uh, we've got the next episode of uh, Narration Fixation going live, which coincidentally is about voiceover and video game voicing. So that'll be really cool. Check it out uh, on Sunday. That's on the Offer Geek Alliance. You guys may notice that there's some cool stuff uh, underneath uh, my Twitch profile here. Um, I've actually added a new button. Um, Awuha, the Mandalorian, um, asked if I could get like a donate button. And PayPal donations are technically for uh, non-profit groups and, and there was a lot of red tape and, and, and stuff so I went, eh, no. So there's this new thing that I'm, I'm trying called imraising.com. There's a little button there if you guys want to make a one-time donation. It's done through PayPal but it can be for for-profit things or, or, or non non-profits. So if you click on the little image that says I'm raising, it'll take you directly to my donations page and you can make one-time donations. Uh, also, I have Patreon. If you guys really enjoy this, if you think it's really cool, you want to help support me and help me to keep creating this and all the other stuff I do, check out my Patreon page. You can become one of my patrons. That means you get access to my patrons-only stream uh, and uh, you get access to weekly patrons-only vlogs. Uh, where you talk about stuff that I can't really mention, uh, or I won't really mention um, until I'm sure you guys find out early special stuff. Uh, so yeah, um, again, that's all for me today. Uh, definitely check out um, my personal channel, youtubecom slash Uh That's where the broadcast of this will actually be uploaded for those of you that couldn't tune in today. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, share, all that cool YouTube jargon. Um, yeah, that is all for me today. I will see you guys tomorrow for some random vlogging. Bye-bye.